Okay, I'm back. And this time, this is video number, what, three? We on the third one? Yeah. Third one, we're going to be using the Prismas colors again. And I'm going to be doing bricks. And the um, I've got you zoomed in up close. We're going to use 1074, which is French Gray 70. And that is going to be all this little crack area. Okay. Then for actual brick, we are doing them in a gray. I did not pull grayscale from just one color, though, which is highly unusual. But I'm going to mix them so that we can give them more depth. So we're using 1051, which is your 20% warm. Then I'm going to use putty beige, which is 1083. And then this last one is, yeah, now you see my problem of seeing the numbers on them, 1072, and that's 50% French gray. Now, like the brown, we are going to do this just in a few, and we're going to do it, I'm going to go dark to light, all right? So I am going to go ahead and mark out with the dark here so that I know how far to go over and still stay in the frame of my camera. So, and I can just hear some of you. Well, we can't see that you're even doing anything. Why are you doing it? Well, we're going to go ahead and do it anyway because what if your picture is not grayscale? Then, okay, and I'm already out. So let's come over here. And you're right, it's hard to even see what I've done. So hopefully I will stay within these lines for you. In fact, let me just mark through so I know to stay inside this area. And then it'll be where you can see it. All right, there we go. Okay, the reason for going ahead and coloring this is because if you're not doing grayscale, then you want to kind of see what we're doing. Now I'm starting with that 1072 and I'm coming in and I'm doing the dark areas. And if you can't see anything actually changing colors, that's because I picked a color that was so close to this color. But that's okay. I still want you to do this exercise with me and put it in your binder of tutorials so that when you decide that you want to do a regular coloring page and to do these colors, then you know what colors to pick and where to put them for it to look okay. Alright, so that's why we are still going to color it in, although it looks the same because sitting from where I am, after having gone over all these, this looks different from this. Can you see the difference? That's what we've done. That's what's not done. All right, so let me come back and line up to make sure I'm in screenshot again. There we go. So that was the first one. Now we're gonna go on to the second one which is the 20% warm white, 1051. Or was putty next? Um, I'm going to do putty next. So I'm going to do this putty beige and go in here and all these other, the medium shade, because anything that doesn't get done this time will be done in our last color. Gray buildings are one of the easiest to do because um, you're just laying in lights, darks, and mediums, or lights, mediums, and then darks. And then from there, your building just comes together quickly. So I think that's why I picked this to go ahead and do for your tutorial um, notebook if you're making one of those, just so that you would have it as a reference later, okay? I think gray is a good neutral to add on any um, 
house if you've got books that show coloring villages and different things like that. Gray is a nice neutral. And you can see how fast this is working up. All right, so now I am going to go ahead and go over to my lightest. It's a 1051. All right, and this is the 20% warm gray. Now I'm gonna come in and everything's gonna get done. Anything that wasn't covered the first or second color gets this. Okay, just kind of blending and going around in there. You don't want to make it perfectly smooth because then you lose all the texture that your bricks would have. Okay, so don't blend so well that you don't get that contrast. You want to have a certain amount of contrast in there. Okay, but do make sure that with this color, you're going ahead and getting anything else that did not have color on it. You don't want to have any of that white paper just showing through. And again, your picture you choose to do may not be a grayscale. So I've done this as grayscale to help teach you where the lights and darks are so that when you get one that's not grayscaled, you kind of know. You can just whip this out, put it next to what you're working on, and just have it done in no time. Okay? See, now gray, did I tell you? Gray would be one of the fastest. See, that red that we did in video one, that was the one that took the longest. Now I'm just trying to make sure all my white spots are covered. Now, I know that looks kind of messy, but we're zoomed in. Watch this. When we zoom out, how's that? See, now you can tell, whoops, stop bouncing. There we go. You can tell that corner section was done. Now, what to do when you have a shadow? Good question. So because we did all that in just seven minutes, I want to come down here. There was actually a shadow cast across where I was um, taking my picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to do my same colors. And let's just overlap into some of this that's not shadowed. And again, I'm just trying to get this in. You will take a little bit longer, I hope, and um, do some better coloring techniques than what I'm doing. I just want to be able to show you to where you can go from here and do it on your own. Okay, then my darker colors, I'm still going to come in here with my darker colors. Now, are you noticing that there's more that's dark though? So, in here, it's still the same amount as before. But then as I go down into the shadow area, more of it is the darker. Okay, so I guess that's really what I want to show you is I'm just taking the same colors that I've already been using, but I'm doing these darker, more darker areas as we go down and less light so that they look like they're more in the shadows. There was a um, another house partially blocking the view of this one when I shot the picture. Oh yeah, I take all my own pictures. I don't use stock photos or anything. I um, do my own. So, and uh, I don't make enough on Etsy to make a house payment or anything, but 
you do kind of help me stay in groceries, which I appreciate because I do a lot of free videos and I've never asked to be paid for them. So every time somebody does make a purchase, it does help me just a little bit more. All right, so you can see there now, I've gone up into here a little bit, but right here you can really see that shadow that was cast. All right, now the next darker color. And then we'll come in with the, the lightest color here at the end. But you can get through a brick building pretty quickly. Just um, putting that color in because brick is not particular. Brick is very textured and it's not real clean and neat. So you can afford to do a little more scribbling and I did not say that and not have to worry about it being perfect because brick is not and in fact I'm not going to use any of that lighter color down here in the shadow area not even as a refractive bounce light because this is down in the shadows so let's just get that all taken care of even that, yeah. Now we're coming back out of the shadow right here. So that's where I can start adding some. So now when I come in with the lightest color, we're back out of the shadows. This one's part way in, part way out. This one is too. See how that line is right across here. So you just watch that when you're doing your coloring. Dark to light, it's a whole lot easier. And that's just the reflection off the side of the brick. Okay, that white line right there. So just take your lightest color, whatever you're using, and that's what goes there. And see, it only went part way on this one because that shadow is coming across here, okay? So, um, Pam One Stroke, and it's on Etsy, or look me up under Pam Proctor, all those, P-R-O-C-T-O-R, -O and um, be sure that when you purchase, you send me a message. It'll say that you can make a comment to me, or to send me a message. Send me a message with your email, because you're not only going to get the five grayscales of these different bricks, you're also, I'm going to email you the color originals so that you'll have that to color by, all right? And the link will also be down in the comments down below. All right, okay, thanks.